It's Mr. Do on the ColecoVision. A 1983 release based on the 1982 arcade game. And what does Mr. Do do? Well, what doesn't Mr. Do do? That sounds weird. Well, for one thing, he does share a lot in common with Dig Dug. For example, they both wanted Ms. Pac-Man. But at the time, she was married to KC Munchkin. It's unclear if Mr. Do ever did pick up sloppy seconds, though. Did I just say that on air? Mr. Do is a clown who uses a fun ball to break enemies, I, I think? I'm not sure what he is, but he's awesome. I've heard a lot about this game over the years, and have seen a number of requests for a review of it come out of England. I think he was the missing beetle, Mr. Do on The Zither. I spent quite a bit of time with this game for the review because it's really fun and it's hard to put down once you start playing it. Especially if you enjoy Dig Dug, I'm far more familiar with Namco's arcade classic, where the bike pump wielding assassin Mr. Dig Dug does many of the same things that Mr. Do does do. <laughs> It's like a code word. Why are you leaving the dinner table, Tommy? I've got to play Mr. Do. <laughs> wink. At first, it seems like there's a lot more going on in Mr. Do than in Dig Tuck. <laughs> it's that high fiber diet. There's different ways to score points in this game. For instance, collecting eight cherries in a row gives you 500 extra points. And you can pick up those extra letters by throwing your fun clown ball at them, which do award you an extra man when you spell EXTRA! EXTRA DO! Now that just sounds like a commercial. Do the do. Mr. Do. The ColecoVision version of this game has four different difficulty settings. I'm playing on level two. Because I haven't really figured out all of the different attack patterns to properly master Mr. Do yet. But I'm getting there. I've never seen the arcade version, but as you might expect, and like Dig Dug, the enemies become far more aggressive and faster as the game progresses. It's fairly easy to kill off enemies with your Super Ball, but you are left vulnerable until it returns. Especially if it's bouncing around the screen when you really need it. On the other hand, it can also act like a heat-seeking missile. So you launch it out there and know that it'll eventually kill something. Another letter. You clear the screens by collecting all of the cherries or by killing off all of the enemies. And Mr. Do has that awesome risk versus reward style of arcade gameplay. You can play it safe and just try to avoid everything and collect all of the cherries. Or you can be aggressive and try to kill the enemies and also collect the cherries. I found that playing somewhere between those two mentalities works well. Kill off a few enemies to thin the herd, and then get through the levels. Unlike Dig Dug, you are not scored points for just eating dirt. That's Dig Dug's thing, he loves dirt. Gameplay on the ColecoVision game cartridge is really solid. It looks and sounds great like you would expect from the almighty ColecoVision, which is such a badass game console for these early 80s arcade games. The ColecoVision controller is not bad, although at times you may find that you can't reverse direction fast enough, and after several hours, it does start to hurt your hand. So bring more hands. Hey, what happens if I do pick up that last extra letter? Let's watch and find out. I don't know what those things are, but to me they look like Chex Mix, which just makes me hungry. Hungry for an extra life! Time to dish out some groovy tunes and an extra Mr. Do! No game has ever made me feel so awesome to earn an extra life like this one. It's so festive, it's so likable, it's so much fun. Mr. Do is awesome. We've been watching the ColecoVision version, but this game is available on numerous other platforms, including the Atari 2600, and other versions were made for the Super Nintendo and Neo Geo.
I wonder how the story ended if there was ever a Mrs. Do or a Do Jr. Well, one thing is for sure, this game is awesome, and it makes you proud to scream at the top of your lungs in public. I love Mr. Do!